Welcome to Fit Positivity. Today's episode is gonna be just a couple little tidbits on two themes, time and pleasure. We're gonna talk about how these two themes are interrelated into improving your health and fitness lifestyle. So I'm gonna talk about two women in particular that have inspired me in these two areas, saving time and making more time. We'll talk about Laura Vanderkam. She's an author, uh, widely known for her book called 168 Hours, talking about how to, that's the number of hours in a week. So she talks about how to you know, allocate those hours to get more done. So the book that I read was called What the Most Successful People Do Before Breakfast. She talks about rearranging your mornings to make time for those most valued things that we don't make time for once the day starts. Whether that's working on your relationships, working on your spiritual health, having a hobby, whether it's painting or reading, doing something for you before the madness of the day begins. But what is really interesting about this book is there's a very broad theme on the success of people that used those early morning rituals for exercise. So I definitely want to encourage you guys to check out the book, What the Most Successful People Do Before Breakfast, and you'll also find her website will be down below. Laura Vanderkam started a whole theme of books on this topic called What the Most Successful People Do. So you can check out the other books that are coming out as well and find your inspiration. So with the time allocation of exercise in the morning, there's been scientific research and practical examples of how that has turned out to be very successful for people. So one thing in particular is that our willpower throughout the day is kind of used like a muscle once we, okay, make a good decision here. I'm using willpower to make a good decision at lunch. At the end of the day, it's no wonder we don't feel like going to the gym or working out. We're just, our energy has been spent from the day. But if we start out the day with exercise, we're not only more likely to stick with it, but you're also more likely to have more energy throughout the day and more energy for your workout. So I definitely encourage you guys to check that out. The second thing I want to talk about is a weird way that pleasure, yes, pleasure, is worked into the health and fitness field. Jenna Flom has started her theory and method called Pleasurable Weight Loss for Women. Her story is very great, has a lot to do with how as women in society. Growing up, we learn to hate our body, have poor body image, overeat, yo-yo diet, this, that, and the other, which I'm sure to one extent or another we can all relate to. And what she does is kind of work that feminine pleasure back into your life. So kind of finding that confidence, finding that beauty within yourself, and not necessarily going on you know, this certain diet, like I have to cut out this, this, and this. No, it's about slowing down, enjoying your food, finding pleasure in your food, and adding in more pleasure in other areas of your life. So she talks about many things such as dancing. Dancing releases Actually, it's one form of exercise releases more endorphins than any other type of exercise because it can be very community-based as well. So finding those other areas, also active areas in your life, to add pleasure. And maybe that is hanging out with friends, going to a dance class together, going to a, you know, a tennis lesson with someone. So adding those again, kind of bringing some focus back onto ourself so that we're relieving some stress, we're slowing down. A lot of times overeating is, first of all, it can be emotional eating. It can be eating instead of dealing with other stresses a different way in our life. And Jenna really breaks down those issues that particularly relate to women and she guides you through this process of 
first off, just adding that pleasure back into your life, slowing down your eating, and it's a very organic, natural way to, you know, before you know it, you're on this road to having a better relationship with food. And she is someone that I've actually followed for probably two or three years now. I think she's great and her information will also be at the bottom of this. So definitely worth checking out. And you know, I you guys could probably have guessed it, but that is what your fit positivity objective is for the week. Is I really, really just encourage you to check out these two websites. You know, if Laura Vanderkam and her books speak to you, get the audio, listen to it in your car, that's what I did. Um, she also has great resources when you buy her books on her blog. And Jenna has videos popping up all the time. It's free to subscribe to her newsletter and information, and she just is full of amazing content. So I hope that after this video and after this week, you guys have added some things into your life, how you're gonna now work on having better time management in the mornings, and also adding in some feminine pleasure well-deserved into your life. Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you. I'm Tessie Tracy.